What's going on, Mecha fans? Ed here, and today we're taking a little break from the Gundam roll to take a look at one of my favorite American uh, pickup things that I like to collect. This is the Transformers Thrilling 30th Generations Orion Pax. Yes, I've been excited about this toy ever since last December, January, February. I know it was snowing. Uh, time when this got premiered at the toy show. Uh, very, very cool rendition of Orion Pax. And if you don't know who Orion Pax is, basically Orion Pax is the guy that was Optimus Prime before he was Optimus Prime, got the Matrix, got upgraded, blah, blah, blah. And this is the IDW version. So basically, uh, the ID, another one of the great, great IDW figures come to life. Um, this guy is the one that you'll see in pretty much... Hold on, let me get him. Here we go. This little guy, this one, this this version of the Optimus. This is the version you'll see in a lot of the comics. Um, but for this one, they actually made a spotlight issue um, that featured him. And cool enough, the toy actually comes with the comic. Let's zoom out a bit. It's zooming in. Good job, Ed. Um... Yeah, uh, it's really big, so I'm just going to hold it up there. Very cool, exclusive uh, cover art. It says Hasbro exclusive cover. Um, and it's, I mean, it's a decent-sized comic. It's like, uh, I, don't, I don't even know how many pages this is. But very cool that it comes with that. Um, <coughs> because in the past year, we've seen Generations figures go up in detail, down in price, and comes with more stuff and just increased in quality. Um, and everyone's like, oh, no, they're smaller. And, but yeah, who the fuck cares? They're a tiny bit smaller, but they're like much cheaper. And yeah, they're very nice. Very, very cool. So the comic uh, that comes with this basically, you know, orients around the figure itself, which is very neat. So I definitely suggest, uh, even if you haven't read the IDW series like I have, picking this guy up because you basically get his story in the comic and basically just to give a quick rundown of the comic uh ryan I, I think i remember this i read this months ago because i picked this comic up long time ago because it's been released separately but this is the exclusive one that comes with the toy um it's basically orion and he's testing out uh, testing out a new body for a wheeljack or something and he, through the entire series the entire comic he's complaining that it doesn't have a faceplate because, I mean, Orion Pax didn't have a faceplate in this continuity. Um, but he basically gets into some, you know, big scrap with the Decepticon, gets blown, and he, like, at the end of it, he's in some desert, and he gets into a big accident, and, like, the body that he's testing out, this Orion body, this new one, is, like, really badly damaged. And he's like, oh, man, Wheeljack's gonna kill me. And then, like, the last two panels or last two pages is him looking at over some scrap metal and he picks up this like broken piece of scrap metal and he puts it on his face and it looks like a really badly damaged faceplate so very cool comic again orientating around the figure and I'm sure Shapeways or some company is going to make another head that has that badly damaged piece on it so anyway I've rambled on about the comic for enough now enough now let's get on to the actual toy so in his little Cybertronian truck mode here it rolls on all four wheels obviously enough because it is a truck he does come with two very awesome weapons you get a giant red battle axe which looks very good with your uh, WFC or uh, FOC prime and that can attach right on the side there and his gun can also peg to the side there I'm not gonna bother with it because it looks stupid but yeah those are options for it now you know, a bit to transform this guy very easy enough first you're just going to take the entire front here and untab it flip it back like this and push these front uh, silver pieces up like that um, then untab these from the back here flip this whole section up rotate this whole part around flip his feet out rotate them around Far. There we go. And that kind of separates, and then just kind of push everything there. That's pretty much his bottom half. The top half, rotate these wheels around, move his cab section forward a little bit. And again, you can't really see it. 
Uh, <laughs> just rotate them. So you're going to rotate his arms out, kind of tab them into place on these little red pieces. As you can see. We're going to zoom out pretty far. There we go. Um, and then just kind of finagle his arms down and get them however you want. Flip his fists out like so. Get them both. Easy enough. And then, last but not least, pop his little head out. So that is Orion. Very cool transformation. Nothing like I've ever seen before. Um, yeah, that that's essentially him. Very neat figure. Um, I, I gotta say, this is one of my top favorite Transformers. Um, very cool. Let me zoom in really quick with some look at these details. Got that that head, that awesome sculpted head. Clear part in the chest. Oh uh, yeah, I could definitely see somebody making a new cup, like a Cybertronian cup from this figure as a custom very awesome and the details are awesome but what's even more awesome is the articulation so you have a head that's on a very very tiny ball joint and he's a very very tiny head uh shoulders will rotate all the way around you get rotation at the upper part of the arm a ratchet elbow joint and the hands will rotate rotation at the waist rotation ball joints in the crotch knee joints and ball jointed feet now that for a transformer for a deluxe class transformer is amazing and you can get him into some very very cool action poses with all of that uh being said and done and now obviously enough here's his little blaster rifle and slip that right in his hand his battle axe plugs in like so and there he is there's orion um very awesome figure and just like the last review i did on the arc 78-2 i am going to give this a 10 out of 10 this figure is awesome, 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 awesome version of Orion Pax. And one of my friends, while I was picking up, said, no, don't get it. You know, it's just a, well, I didn't actually get it. My girlfriend bought this for me because she knew I wanted it. But <laughs> uh, he's like, you know, you shouldn't get Orion because it's just another Optimus Prime. And this is not just another Optimus Prime. This is a very, very cool figure that's all on its own. And it's definitely worth picking up for anyone who's a fan of Orion or just good action figures in general because this guy is really cool. I mean, he is a bit tiny, but who cares? He's awesome. Um, so, yeah, thanks, guys. This has been Ed with another review. Thanks for watching. That's about it. Stuff down below. And I will see you all next time.